today's cast. Imagine paying for a car and driving it for a year just to find out it's not really yours. Tonight, a Five on Your Side exclusive investigation. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Bush. And I'm Ann Allred. With all the searching and negotiating, buying a car can be hard enough. But one Jefferson County man says his troubles began a year after they bought the car. That's when he says the car dealership told him they needed the car back. Our I-team's PJ Randawa tells us why the dealership says there was nothing it could do. One Jefferson County family says a mix-up by their auto dealer has left them with a complete stranger's car. To them, it was perfect. They told us to take it for a test drive, and he really liked it. And for an entire year, they loved driving it. Love it, love it, love it. I want it back. Want it back because six months ago, their dealership called to say the car wasn't legally theirs. Managers at South County Dodge Ram admit they gave Kimberly Eveland the wrong title when they sold her the car. So where was the proper title for her charcoal gray car seen here? It was in Illinois with the woman who bought this silver car right next to it from the same dealership around the same time. They got the tags mixed up. We just wanted the title to the charcoal gray car that we picked out. The dealership told us they tried to get Evelyn's title but couldn't get cooperation from all the lien holders involved. So they proposed a swap. Evelyn would take the silver car and give up her gray car. They'd even give her $2,200. But ours was in mint condition compared to this one. Evelyn says the car she was strong armed into taking has issues and a lot of mileage. It's awful. It needs new tires. I can't find out if it was in a wreck or not. It's a situation that could have been avoided easily. Consumer attorney Creighton Cohen says he's never seen a case quite like this. They sold somebody a car but they didn't deliver the car they sold them. And that, that would be to me a problem um, and something that I would look to be actionable in, in court. For Evelyn, the experience is now just a chance to warn others. They need to learn how to dot their I's and cross their T's. You know, check VIN numbers, check, check, check VIN numbers. In a statement, the dealership manager told us the mix-up was an honest mistake. Evelyn was given a courtesy vehicle for several months, and the dealership paid for all gas and fines during that time. You can see the full statement on our website at ksdk.com. PJ Randawa, 5 on your side. This story started with a tip from a viewer. If you have a similar issue you want 5 on your side to investigate, Email 5 on your side at ksdk.com or you can call us 314 444 5231.